We have discussed the concept of array, types of array, and implemented a program also using array that is single dimension and multi dimensional array. Now we are going to discuss a program, and the question is how can we find the largest number in an array? So it is simple, you need to declare an array at the beginning of program, and the program would scan the code using the for loop and would conclude the result that the largest number from the array has been declared initially and the result is like this. For example, if we say I have declared an array and these are the values 5, 16, 20, 23 and 57. And after scanning all these values you have declared at the beginning or even you are taking input from the user with the help of scanner class, it is going to result you in the output that the largest number is 57 in the given array. So how can we find such a largest number in an array with the help of program? So firstly we need to do is after initializing the class and the void main method, we have to declare two variables that is int n and a maximum variable. These are the two variables which we are going to initialize first and I will take the input from the user side only. I will not initialize the values of the array like I have done in this particular example. So for taking input we know that we use the scanner class of Java. So scanner sc and we create a new object of scanner class that is system.in. So I am going to write here. So after the particular new object is created, firstly we have to ask the user that how many numbers he or she wants to enter the elements in the array. Then what are the number of elements it want to enter. And those entered elements will be actually stored in this particular n variable sc dot next int. So this particular object taking input will store the values in n. And then here we will initialize the array that is int a. a will be the array initialized new int. This we know that declaring a particular array and initializing it. And the values or the size of the array which we have taken from here. This particularly gives us the size of array will be taken from n. That particular value will be passed here that the user enters. And next we are going to ask the user to enter the elements of the array. That now you can enter the elements. Those 5 elements or 6 elements whatever the size it gives. You have to enter those elements in the array. That what are the elements you want in the array. And those entry will be done with the help of for loop. How? We will declare a for loop here for int i equals to 0 i less than n that is the values are to be taken the size of the array should be taken the value should be less than n and the i plus plus it will be incremented and how for a array any index particularly it is entering the value with the help of s dot next int this is how we can pass the values to the array that the values will be passed then we have also declared error variable known as max for calculating the maximum. So next what we are going to do is we are going to initialize this as max equals to a 0. That means we are initializing first this as 0 maximum value. There is no maximum value firstly. And then we are going to execute another for loop for the array which we have entered or the user has entered. And in that particular value we will execute the for loop for i equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus. This is the for loop which will be executing starting from 0 to less than the number of elements that is the size of array it will execute and in that particular element we will use another conditional statement if that if maximum is less than a or the array any index particular number then that particular number will be declared as the maximum of that array if there is anything and if it is greater then it will check for the rest of the elements. So it is going to check here max equals to ai or else it will again check for the other rest of the elements of array and using the system dot out print and statement at the last we can print that the maximum value of the array is the max which is generated from the given array. So we have used the scanner class for taking the input firstly we are taking the size that what is the exact size of the array you want and then we are entering the elements and using it with the help of for loop. And lastly we are finding the maximum from the array with the help of this particular for loop and the conditional statement if. So now let us execute this program and see how can we find the largest number in an array. So here you can see that 
I have used a public class largest which I have used as my Java class that is largest dot Java and here you can see I have initialized the variables and then I am taking the input the logic which I just now explained I have implemented the same in my IDE also and I will save this particular program and as I run this particular program firstly what it is going to ask me to enter the number of elements in the array let me scroll it a bit for you enter the elements in the array for example, I want to enter six elements. Okay. Now it is going to ask me that enter the elements of array. Now what is the elements you want to enter? So let's say my first element is 15, then 28, 98, 12, 45 and 63. These are the elements which I have entered. So now as I press enter, it returns me that the maximum value in the array is 98. This is how we can fetch the maximum value from an array or the largest value from an array with the help of a Java program.